There was a trick uh, called uh, nickels to dimes. There was a stack of nickels and this little uh, brass cap. And you covered the brass cap with the, with the nickels with the cap, and then you lifted it up, and now they're dimes. And I thought, this is a great way to make money. I saw uh, a gentleman make a very small pocket knife vanish, and it was uh, incredible. And I wanted to see more and learn more and, and just see how far these things could be taken. I was three, uh, and it was basically a rope where you have three knots, and I made the knots vanish. That was it. I'm a big fan of magic and I try to promote it as much as I can. And when you see something extraordinary, uh, you want to crow about it, at least I do. Uh, Derek and Helder do um, sleight of hand and um, magic with a deck of cards in a way that I have rarely seen before. And, uh, and I think they represent sort of a new movement of magic. Um, it's not old and stodgy, and it's not super overproduced. I think it's really hard to describe the show like in a synopsis because it's, it's a collection of different moments that gradually build up to something. By the end of the show, uh, you realize that all of these different subjects and these different uh, areas that have been touched on actually uh, coalesce into one uh, idea or feeling that people leave with. When you see uh, an illusion, a levitation, or a sawing a lady in half, or a magic special on TV, you tend to think that there's all kinds of ways it could be happening, with camera tricks, or with stooges, or uh, what have you. When you're sitting in front of these two guys, and you're watching them do tr tricks with cards, you're looking right at it, like you're 10 feet away from it, and then they're blowing your mind. It's not so much based on uh, uh, card tricks and sleight of hand, but it's based on uh, a premise that's larger, which is that magic kind of exists in the world, and I don't mean magic isn't making rabbits appear but you know rainbows and trees and the fact that we are able to be with each other and communicate and and uh, and have this experience called life and so we use cards as as sort of a vehicle and an engine to deliver the uh things that we want to express about the world so it just happens to be cards the, the way we do it there's something that's that has greater impact about the fact that it is so intimate because you're, you know, you're, you, there, are no, there are no outs. You don't know how it could possibly be done, and yet it's happening right in front of you. So I love that.